Hi everyone, it's Emily. A few weeks ago, I talked about how to make your outfit look more expensive, and I mentioned tailoring as a way to elevate your look. So today, I'm gonna expand on this topic and discuss one, why to tailor your clothes, two, how to find a good tailor, and three, what clothes to tailor and what areas to target because I've received a couple of questions around this topic. If you've never been to a tailor, no worries. Going to a tailor can be intimidating, which is why I'm sharing this information with you. Tailoring your clothes is very manageable. It's just intimidating because you're mixing yourself with a new community, the uh, sewing community. Knowing about tailoring and utilizing a tailor makes you a smarter shopper. It lets you get more life out of your clothing and obviously a better fitting wardrobe. We so often go shopping and say, nothing fits me right, and this is because manufacturers and designers are using one generic pattern and sizing up and down on that pattern, so we can't expect to fit into a standard size, so I'm going to talk about how we can fix this. So let's get started. Fit is the most important aspect of styling. If it isn't the right fit, nothing else matters. Wearing clothes that fit will actually make you look taller and thinner. The reality is that most clothes are, are mass manufactured unless you're shopping at Emily Westenberger. So they're designed to fit the average female or male. But really, what does average mean? None of us are built the same, so likely you will need alterations. Tailoring clothes is also a massive confidence booster. It changes the way you carry yourself, the way you walk into a room. Um, you'll, you'll put off an aura of power when your clothes fit. You're taking something that exists already and you're elevating it. You can take an ordinary outfit that everyone else is wearing and tailor it to make it look like it was made specifically for you. How to find a good tailor. This is an important topic to discuss. I hear questions like, how do I find a good tailor? How much should I pay them? How do I know if I can trust them? First things first, I would suggest finding a good tailor through word of mouth or doing some research by asking high-end boutiques where they refer customers. Otherwise, I would go onto Yelp and search clothing alterations near you. Pay attention to the reviews, make sure you have a few reviews and that they're good reviews. Also look at who is writing them. If you're female, make sure there are plenty of good reviews from females and vice versa if you're male. Pick a location that is close to your workplace or home so you aren't making alterations a huge inconvenience for yourself. Once you identify one or two good tailors, just call and ask them, can you hem my jeans and keep the original hem? If they don't know what you're talking about or say that they can't do it, then try another tailor. There are a few ways to hem jeans. You can one, remove the hem and do a blind hem. This is more amateur. You can two, stitch a fake hem after creating a blind hem. This is a little better, but still not the best. The best way to do this is to keep the original hem, which looks way better. Any good tailor will know that. Um, if they can do that, then congratulations, you've likely found a good tailor. You may have to make an appointment with them. At your appointment, they will pin you up in the garment you want altered. Don't forget to bring your go-to shoes and make sure you're happy with the length. Don't be afraid to let them know if you don't like the way it's pinned. When you pick it up, Make sure you try on the garment. If it's messy or loose tailoring, then move on to a different tailor. A hem shouldn't cost a lot, so it shouldn't be too much of a hit to your bank account. The next thing you can try with a tailor, if they are good and you're happy with the result, is taking in something like a button-up shirt. It's a little more difficult, but a good tailor should be able to fix it. Also, pro tip here, if you're building your wardrobe and you have a budget, set aside 8% of your budget for alterations. What clothes to tailor and the areas to target. It's always harder to let a garment out than bring it in, so make sure that a garment fits your widest part and then have the tailor bring it in where you need. For example, if you're busty, avoid sizing down when buying your clothes to make something fit your, your waistline. Instead, focus on choosing a size that fits your bust. The same thing goes for the widest part of your hips. Make sure the trousers fit at your widest part so it's easier for the tailor to work with. Now onto blouses, blazers, and tops. If there are gaps around your waist, a tailor can put in darts. They can also let them out if a garment is too tight. The darts in the front should come from the center of your bust and taper to your waist. Darts in the back will usually start underneath your shoulder blades and also go down to the waist. 
This pulls some excess fabric out and gives you shape. For some designs, this alteration won't work. It depends on the style and the fabric. A stretchier fabric may not work with darts. This is a conversation you can have with your tailor. Zippers can be added if something is difficult to get into. Another thing is holes can be patched. Now a tailor can't bring holes together. That will likely alter the fit. They should be able to patch it though. So especially if it's a garment you absolutely love, I can, would definitely recommend having a tailor look at, look at the garment. And on to trousers and jeans. So your pants and your jeans are one of the more common items to tailor. One of the first things you can think about is um, maybe the belt loops on your trouser. If you don't need them, you can have them removed. They can be, um, they can really create busyness around the waist. It could be unnecessary. Um, also, if the outline of your pockets is showing through your trousers, you can even have that removed. You can also have pleats removed. Um, if you don't like the way it looks on you, maybe it's too much fabric, you can absolutely ask a tailor to take to um, see what they can do. Pants should fit nicely through the hips and be hemmed to your shoe height. Even if it's just a half an inch, it's worth it. Keep in mind that the wider the skirt, or in other words, the longer the hem, the more it will cost. So for both skirts and pants, you should hem them also to a point where your legs taper. This may depend on the style, but in general for leaner legs, have your tailor hem the pants. So there's a slight break in the front hem between your foot and the hem. I like my pants hemmed right above my ankle at the skinniest point of my leg. Um, the back hem should usually be about a half an inch from the floor. These are general tips and like I said, ultimately depend on the garment. So I think that's enough for today. Comment below if you'd like me to do more videos or blogs on tailoring and let me know if you have any questions or specific topics you'd like me to cover. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos every Friday. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I'm also wearing the Michaela top from my fall winter collection. Um, that will be in my description as long as a link to my entire collection. So feel free to check it out. Thanks guys. Thank you.